Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Today's razor review, the Merker 37C Slant Bar Safety Razor. Here's a quick look at it. I'll give you some more information on it, and then I'll perform a shave with it so you can see how it shaves. If you want to pick up any of the items used in the video, just click down below where it says show more, or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box, it'll pop right up. All right, let's get to work. Here's a look at the Merker 37C Slant Bar Chrome Safety Razor. It's made by Merker, and it's made in Solingen, Germany. Comes in this cardboard carton, nice little presentation box. Let's remove it. It does come with one blade. Let's check this out. Merker Super, made in Germany on one side. And on the other side, stainless, rust fray, platinum coated. Here's the razor. It's got a nice knurling on the handle, very easy to grip, vertical lines down at the bottom at the twist knob. Above the bottom collar it reads Merker, Solingen, Germany. You can see how the head slopes down. This is what's known as a slant bar razor. It creates a scything motion when you shave with it, making it a more aggressive shaving razor. It's very similar to the Merker 34C, so if you shave with the 34C, and you're looking for something a bit more aggressive, this 37C will be perfect for you. Let's disassemble. Just spin the knob at the bottom counterclockwise. It separates. It's a two-piece razor. It's got a long post and two pins to hold the blade down. It's got slight striations on the top cap here. On the underside of the safety bar, it reads Solingen, Germany. Let's install the blade. Right over the post and the two pins. Reassemble. Clockwise, tighten it down. Here's a look at the blade installed. And again, you can see the blade skews downward when it's loaded. This will definitely make it a more aggressive shaving razor. The blade reveal looks even on both sides. There is a bit of blade overhang on either end of the top cap and safety bar. You can see where the blade protrudes right there and on the other side. The 37C Slant Bar Chrome Safety Razor by Merker, made in Solingen, Germany. Features an angled blade guard which results in a super close shave, sometimes referred to as a hefty. It's preferred by shavers who demand a more aggressive shave. Excellent for coarse, thick beards. Includes one Merker DE double edge razor blade. The specs on this razor, it weighs in at 2.7 ounces or 76 grams. The overall length from top to bottom is 3.25 inches or 83 millimeters. Let's go see how it shaves. I've got a pretty heavy beard growth today, so this being a more aggressive razor should be perfect for my beard. We'll see how it goes. This will be an Italian slash German shave today. The razor is made in Germany. I will use Cella shaving cream, Crema de Barba, made in Italy. If you like almond scented shaving cream, you'll love this. We'll stick with the Cella line for aftershave right here. Lozione Dopo Barba, Cella aftershave. We'll mix up the Cella shaving cream in the Shave Nation bowl. The red bowl with the lather spot down at the bottom. It's got the logo right there on the side and also on the bottom. I was going to use the Balzano blade, but guess what? It's not made in Italy. It sounds like it is, but it's not. On the back here it says made in Germany. So this blade is not made in Italy, it's made in Germany. So I'm going to use a feather blade because with this I want to make sure I go aggressive on it. So I'll use the feather blade. And I'll show you it right here. I've already got it loaded, but 
Let me show you real quick. Here's a peek at it. Feather blade right there. That's what I'll be using. The brush I'll use is the Parasso made by Omega shaving brush. It's a bore brush. Nice stiff brush. If you prefer stiffer brushes, this will be perfect for you. You'll like it. And very reasonably priced as well, not too expensive. And one way to soften this brush up, because it's really stiff, just soak it in water overnight a couple times. That'll soften up the bristles. I've had this one for quite some time. You can see it's a little bit, it's a little bit rough. It's a little bit game used, a little worn. There's some purple or pink right there. It's been used quite a few times. So let's soak that in the hot water. I'll fill up my marble cup. Here's what it looks like when it's dry. Pop it right into the marble cup here. It soaks up some water. You can hear the bubbles. That's what it looks like when it's saturated. Let that soak. We'll warm up the bowl. Since it's ceramic, it will retain some heat as well. And I'm just going to scoop out some cello with my finger right here. It's kind of a little bit harder type shaving cream. Got about that much right there. I'm just going to drop that down into the lather spot down at the bottom. That's it. Not too much. Let's remove the brush. Shake out the water. Pour out the water from the cup. We'll go right in here, see if we can mix a lather. Just swirl that shaving cream along the bottom of the lather spot. Mm, very nice almond scent. And you can see that the shaving cream is already coming up around the sides. Scoop that back down. Just drive it back down to the bottom of the bowl. Scoop it around again. Just keep repeating that process till you get as much lather as you want. There you go, after like 20 seconds. Let me add just a little bit of water, just to warm it up some. I see some shaving cream still down there at the bottom, so this will help work it out. There we go. Very nice. Doesn't take very long to get some good lather out of this cella. And if you like almonds, really smells sweet. There you go, plenty of lather for a few passes. Let's set that down. I'll warm up my face, we'll get right to the shave. All right, my face is good and hot. Let's grab our brush and bowl. As I said, plenty of lather here. Smells fantastic. Let's lather up. A nice stiff brush where you can really drive that lather right into the beard to help elevate it, soften it, hydrate it. Prepare it for the shave ahead. Mustache area. And it's very stiff, so you can direct it exactly where you want it to go. It doesn't flop over like a lot of synthetic brushes do. So you can really drive it in. Add a little bit of hot water. Just want to cover up all the areas you intend on shaving. A little figure eight method, smooth everything out. The Zen moment of the shave right here. What happens now? We clear the runways so we can see our sideburns. Here we go, the Merker 34C and the Cella shaving cream. Germany, Italy, going at it. Let's warm up the razor under the hot water. I'll start on the right side. You shave with it like any other safety razor and the slant bar does the work. Just perpendicular, tilt the handle slightly out, find your angle, work your way down. Takes it off, no problem whatsoever. One side is full, flip it over to the other side. Right down the neckline.
Beautiful. Both sides are filled up. Lots of stubble on that cream. Let's rinse it off. Now we'll switch to the left side, same way. Just perpendicular, tilt the handle slightly out. Find your angle and cut that sideburn. Work your way down. One side full, we'll flip it over, right down the neckline. Definitely more aggressive than your 34C. Very nice. Let's rinse that. You can see that stubble. Now let's hit the mustache, just scoop right under the nose. There you go, one pass. Pretty darn smooth right there. Let's rinse off, grab our brush and bowl, reapply for a second pass. Plenty of lather. Now just a thin coating. Figure eight. Clear the runways again. First pass was with the grain from north to south. And by the way, if you're smooth enough after your first pass, you can finish up, you're done, that's it. I'm gonna go another pass so I can get real smooth. The second pass will be against the grain. I'll start from the bottom and work my way up on the neck. And if your hair grows in different directions, wherever, you still want to go with the grain, map it out, feel it, with the grain on the first pass, then across, and then against if you perform a third pass. Now I'll go across the grain here. Very smooth, very efficient shaving razor. Mustache. You get some nice audible feedback from it as well. Let's rinse that off. Now backhand across. Clean the cleft. Now the mustache. Excellent. Really nice and smooth. Let's rinse that off. I am super smooth right now. Really nice. But I will show you that if you want to get the baby smooth glass-like finish, you can just apply a little bit more shaving cream on the cheeks right here. Grab your razor. This is riding the cap. You're going to put the rounded portion right against your skin and just tilt it slightly up to, right till it catches. When it catches, that's your sweet spot right there. This will get those cheeks super smooth. Beautiful, right there. Same thing on this side. Rounded portion, tilt up a little bit, just till it starts catching. Skim. Beautiful. So smooth right there. Excellent shave. Let me rinse that off. A final rinse of hot then cold water. While my face is still wet, the Shave Nation Allen Block, wide stick, remove the cap, soak it under cold water. Just glide that all around. Excellent finish to your shave. Seal off any little nicks you may have gotten. Give you some feedback. If you got irritation, you'll feel a little bit of stinging. But I'm feeling great right here. 
Really nice shave. Very efficient two pass, two and a half pass shave. Really gets the job done, the 37C. Let it soak in for 30 seconds and rinse that off. Pat the face dry. Now let's crack open our Chella aftershave lotion. Right into the fingertips. A few drops. Activate the ingredients. Uh, very nice. Not much of a sting, but a very nice scent. Follows up the shaving cream very nicely. Here's a final look at the razor, the Merker 37C. If you currently shave with a 34C, you want something more aggressive, this will be perfect for you. You'll really enjoy it. You can cut down on your shave time because this is a more efficient shaving razor. Really gets the job done quickly and easily. Very smooth shaving, feels good in the hand. All in all, an excellent shaving razor, as you can see. German engineering gets the job done. Baby smooth, two and a half passes, really nice. The Chella shaving cream with a Parasso brush in the Shave Nation bowl, lathered up very nicely, easily. Still have enough lather for a couple more passes if I wanted to, but I'm good to go. The feather blade, you know, what more can I say? The sharpest blade out there makes the razor even more aggressive. A great combination. If you want to mow through your beard quickly, 37C, feather blade, gets the job done. You can tune it down a little bit with some other blades if you wish to. The Chella Aftershave Lotion, excellent as well. A nice splash, cool, smells great, excellent finish to the shave. If you want to pick up any of these items, just click under the video where it says show more. You can grab them right there. Or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box, it'll pop right up. Before I head out, please click that subscribe button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, then click the bell, then click all. You'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. They'll go right to your inbox. You won't miss any. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.